We're going to look at Java's five arithmetic operators, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and modulus division. And these operators are usually used in an expression like the one listed below. Now let's take a moment to look at this expression, five plus four equals something. If you are in math or doing some kind of algebra, this would be fine. But in Java, this is incorrect. You never go from the left side, do some kind of operation, and then assign it into the right side. You always go from the right side and assign it into the left. So some variable would be assigned to 9. Never assign from left to right, but right to left. If you try to assign from left to right, it will produce an error. Now we're going to show you some of the common arithmetic operations in Java. So we have two integer variables, 6 and 2. We're going to create a third variable called sum, which is going to store the sum of the two variables, which now is 8. If we wanted to print out the values, we could print them out with a statement like this, and we would see 6 plus 2 equals 8. There are a lot of plus signs going on here, and so I want to take a sec just to point out what they're doing. The first plus sign up here is actually doing addition. These four plus signs are concatenating the different parts together. And this last plus sign is inside of a double quotes, and it is a string literal, literally printing out plus. So that's where we get 6 plus 2 equals 8 from. Now if we wanted to do a similar operation with minus, we could do num1 minus num2 and get the difference. And then print it out, it would say 6 minus 2 equals 4. We could do the same thing with multiplication and division. The print line statements would look very similar. The only thing that I'm really changing are the string literals and at the end, product and quotient. And so when it prints out, it would look like 6 times 2 is 12 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now division in Java can be interesting because there's really two types of division. There's integer division and real division. And let's see what's going on here. When we have num1 divided by num2, you would think that 10 divided by 3 would yield 3.3 continuing. But in Java, it would not do this. It would give us 3. And the reason is, when you take an integer, divide it by another integer, and store it as an integer, you're going to get integer values. That decimal place is going to be truncated. It's just going to be lopped off, and the remainder would just be discarded. So 10 divided by 3 would not be 3.3, .3, it would just be 3. Now, let's give another example. What if I did 20 divided by 8? You can pause the video for a second and see if you get the correct answer. And the correct answer would be 2. It doesn't matter that there would be a remainder or a decimal place. It's just going to truncate that off and say 8 goes into 20 two times because we're dealing with integer division. So integer division would yield 20 divided by 8 is 2, and real division would yield 20 divided by 8 is 2.5. What would happen if I changed both my variables into real numbers and I tried to store it into quotient, which is still an int? This would cause an error because you cannot take two doubles and then assign it into an int because an int is less precise. It's not storing as much decimal information. So therefore the error would be a loss of precision error. So what must be done if we want real division is we're gonna take 20 divided by eight and store it in a double quotient, not an int quotient, and we would get 2.5. Let's say that we wanted to put all four of the operations together, add, subtract, multiply, and divide, getting the sum, difference, product, and quotient, and then print them out. This is what it would look like, and it would output these results, 7.5, 3.25, 12.3, 7.5, and 2.4444. And you'll notice that on all of these, we are doing real arithmetic as opposed to integer arithmetic because all the values are real numbers and not integer values. Arithmetic operations assign from right to left. So you have to write the program assigning some value on the left hand side and doing your math on the right. It's important to be careful with division. When you're dividing with two integers, you're going to truncate or lop off the decimal. And if you want the decimal, make sure that at least one of your values is a real number. And lastly, there is a difference between real arithmetic and integer arithmetic. 
The add, subtract, and multiply pretty much work the same, but as we mentioned earlier, there is a significant difference between integer division and real division. Now on the bottom chart there, you can see that there's one more operation that I did not cover, and that is modulus division. It's going to handle the problem of dividing two integers and not leaving a remainder behind. Its purpose is to give us that remainder. We'll see that in another video. Java has five arithmetic operators, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and they're used in Java for basic calculations.